Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today for me to show you my current drugstore faves. Yes, that's right. These are my drugstore products that I absolutely love and I've been using them and enjoying them. And you know, pretty much everything I have on my face is these products and I will be telling you about all of them. But I did not include an eyeshadow because quite honestly, there is nothing in the drugstore that I think compares with higher end eyeshadows. In fact, everything I'm showing you to me is equal to anything that you would find on high end and that's what I want to bring to you even from the drugstore there are some phenomenal products and I want drugstore products that aren't just good for drugstore products I like drugstore products that would beat any product out there and these are the products that I'm going to be showing you and if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in making your second half the best half I hope you'll click that bell and that will send you notifications of my future videos and also if you could give me a thumbs up that would be great too okay let's get into this now the first product is the foundation that I have on my face right now and actually this one is empty because I use this and use this and use this. Almost every day at work I am wearing this foundation which is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation in the color Nude and in fact I have another bottle over there. Where is it? Well I have another bottle over there suffice it to say because this one is going in my empties. I absolutely love this foundation. It is called Healthy Skin and I think that is a perfect name for it because that is exactly the look that you get with this foundation. This is a medium to a full coverage foundation which is what I like and it is buildable in those areas where you don't get enough. But basically this foundation covers everything you want to have covered on your face and leaves you looking dewy and natural. Now this next product is a phenomenal concealer and I found it about a week and a half ago and I actually did a video about it already. I have completely stopped using my Tarte Shape Tape which was $27 and now I'm using this Milani Conceal and Perfect which is I think $8.99. Really the ounces are a little different. This one would be about $18 compared to the Tarte Shape Tape at $27. And here is a look at the Tarte Shape Tape and I have been buying this and buying this for two years because I do have a little challenge area here in that Mohs incision but the Milani works better than the Tarte Shape Tape. And in fact if you're using Tarte Shape Tape the next time you buy concealer I would buy this one. This has phenomenal coverage and it lasts all day long. In that video I did a wear test and I'm not sure if that video is coming out before this but if it has already come out I will link it below. This concealer doesn't just blow away drugstore concealers it blows away every concealer I've tried. Now this next product is a phenomenal product and I think it's $2.99. It's one of those Essence products and for those of you who haven't checked out the Essence kiosk recently at Ulta I would urge you to do that because they really have phenomenal products. This is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder and I've tried banana powders before to lighten the under eye area but this one is truly great and I will show you. I hope I don't mess up my makeup because I've already put it on here. But basically you just dip your little brush in there and then you just do that under your eye. And see how that is really visibly brightened that under eye area? And basically I put my foundation on, I put my concealer on and then I go in under there and actually before my eyeshadow I also powder the top of my eye. Can you see how this eye is brighter than this eye? So let's go ahead and brighten up that eye. And this lasts a long time. It pretty much lasts all day and it doesn't exacerbate fine lines and wrinkles. In fact, as you can see, it makes my under eyes look truly smooth and it doesn't get cakey and chalky through the day. It just looks natural and wonderful. Now this next blush is the blush that I have on and I really, really love it. I've really been getting into the peachy tone blushes with just a little bit of iridescence, a little bit of shine to it. This is the NYX Baked Blush Illuminator and as you can see it's a beautiful illuminated kind of a peach color. Let me get it open for you. There it is. And I won't put this on again because I definitely have enough blush on. But look at that beautiful natural peach color. I can't resist the urge to dab a little more on. Very, very natural looking blush that builds up slowly and looks great on most all skin tones. Now this next product I am so excited about and I just found this. And this is the 3D Glow Highlighter from Catrice. And I've got a couple of products from Catrice in this video and they are wonderful. Okay, what this is, this is a little glowing highlighter. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. And I have that on my cheeks, so I'm probably going to screw myself up. I'll put a little more on there. But as you can see, look at that beautiful glow that you get. I absolutely love this. And I actually have it also on, let's see, this shoulder. Do you see that? I'll put a little more there. 
and see how that's on that shoulder. This shoulder has nothing, right? So I'll just go ahead. I can't see in my mirror, so I hope I'm doing this right. But look at that. It just gives you a little bit of a body shine. Look how pretty that looks. It says it can be used on your cheeks, your décolleté, although I don't have an exposed décolleté, so that won't work. And it even says you can use it in the brow area, so I'll go ahead and apply some there and we'll just see. Okay, I'll use a small brush. We'll see if I screw things up. Ooh, oh man, that is really pretty. Look at that. Man, oh, when you turn to the side, that is just gorgeous. Let's put it on the other side. And this is a super reasonable line. I think this might be about $6.99, $7.99, something like that. Ooh, look at that. Super, super, super pretty. Put a little more on that side. If you've been thinking about adding a highlighter to your makeup collection, I wouldn't do a $50 or $60 or $70 highlighter. I'd do this new one from Catrice. Now, this is another product from Catrice, and I truly love this. This is their California in a Box palette, and I can't remember how much this one was. I think it is $14.99, and I'll put the information about it below in the video, but it is so worth it. Here we have two blushes. You have a peachy natural blush, and here you have a more pink tone blush, but look how subtle that is. That is not one that can let you look like a clown. I have been wearing this one and truly loving it. Here is a beautiful, beautiful highlighter, and I actually have this already down my nose and on my upper lip, and look at this. This is actually a highlighter that does what it says it's supposed to on the upper lip. You can see it, it is actually showing there. Let me go ahead and dab this on. I'll see if I can show you a little more. Look at that. It really did give me a little more glow above the lip, which does plump up your lips just a little bit. Now I'm going to go down my nose so you can see. And again, I hope I'm not ruining my makeup. And you only go about halfway down is all. Ooh, very, very pretty. Again, it's a very natural highlighter, which is absolutely my favorite type. When we get to be 50 plus, we want the more gentle highlighters, but these are two absolutely beautiful ones. And then it has two bronzers in here, a more neutral tone one, which is my favorite, and then a more orangey one, which I really don't like as well. But if you're a darker skin tone, you can wear this one, and a lighter skin tone, you would wear this one. This is an absolutely gorgeous palette, and it's equal to anything high end. Now, next we're going back to Essence for some eyeliners, and these are wonderful eyeliners. This is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eyeliner, and I have it in two colors. This one is in the jungle, and I'll show you that. And here it is. It's kind of a greeny blackish color. It's, it's really a soft black with a little bit of green. I really like that one. And if you have brown eyes, that little bit of green really makes them pop. And here is the same eyeliner, but in the color chocolate. And I love brown eyeliners, and so there you can see, there are the two colors. There is the brown, and there is the In the Jungle, which is a little bit of an olive tone. I have the brown on my eyes right now. They go on very smoothly. They just glide on your eyelids, and they last all day. I've been wearing them for about the past three weeks and loving them, and I think they're like $2.49 each. Okay, my last products are lip products, and I have three of them on right now, and I'll show you another three in just a moment. The lipstick that I have on right now is the Flower Beauty Lipstick in the color Naked Blush. I absolutely love these Flower Beauty lipsticks. I'll go ahead and apply this for you again. I do have a lip pencil on that I'll show you in a moment, but it just glides on beautifully. It lasts a long time. It feels like velvet on your lips, and this is more of a true nude than I'm used to wearing. It's got a little bit of a coral to it. It's kind of that 60s color nude, a little bit lighter than I'm used to, but I've really been wearing it and loving it. And then for the lip pencil, I'm using the NYX Lip Pencil in Blue Suede Shoes, which is kind of a classic color, and I'll kind of show you what it looks like here. There it is. Oh, I got a little bit out of the lip line there. There we go. And Nude Suede Shoes is just a classic lip liner that will work with a full range of your nude lipsticks. I really like this because it goes on smoothly, it does not drag, and it really lasts a long time. And the and lip gloss I have over this is a Milani lip gloss, and it's in their new Keep It Full line, and I truly love these. In fact, I think I have all of them now. And this is in the color Luminoso, and I do like this color. It matches their Luminoso blush, which is kind of a classic blush that Milani has. 
And look what that does to that lipstick. It just lights it up. It, it just illuminates it like the color Luminoso indicates. Luminoso is a nice peach with a little bit of shimmer. And I really like the way this gloss feels on my lips. I tried some Essence glosses a few weeks ago and they felt like they were oil, like they were gonna fall off my lips. These Milani Keep It Full lip glosses have a little bit of heft to them and they really make your lips look wonderful. Okay, I'm actually going to take off my lipstick now to show you my next three lip products. And so, I don't know, hopefully I can do this right. Okay, the lipstick I'm going to be showing you is from Essence. And for those of you who have not tried Essence Nude Lipsticks, they are some of my favorites out there. My Essence Nude Lipsticks are kind of worn down to nubs. That and my Charlotte Tilbury, and I like these just as well. And this is a brand new color in the Essence Nude Lipstick line. This is called Ultimate Matte 010, and look at that. And I'll swatch it on my hand for you. And it occurs to me I forgot to swatch the Flower Beauty Naked Blush. And so I'll go ahead and put it right beside there so you can get an idea. There is the Naked Blush and there is that Matte Tin Lipstick from Essence. And I really like the slightly rosy tone of this lipstick. I'll go ahead and put it on for you. And this is a matte. So it's not quite as creamy as the Flower Lipstick. So there is how that looks on the lips. And it wears beautifully, and for a matte, it really feels very creamy. And then for a lip pencil, I'm going in with the Rimmel Exaggerate in Rose Quartz. Love this little lip pencil. In fact, I had this before I came on YouTube. And it's about the same color. So it does a good job of kind of stopping the lip bleeding or anything like that. Okay, there is that lipstick, and I would not leave it matte. I always like to go in with a gloss, at least generally. And this is a Catrice lip gloss in the Generation Plump Shine line, and this is called Pink Topaz. And I'll go ahead and show you what that does, and it's really very beautiful. Okay, there is the Pink Topaz. It's very, very pretty. Never fear because all of those matte lipsticks that we all have, all we need to do is add a little gloss to update them and look how pretty shiny lips can be. Okay, that was a look at all my current drugstore faves and I absolutely love them. And if you'd like to learn more, all of them are linked below. And also there's a subscribe button down there, which I hope you'll hit if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and be notified of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and this is the Miracles Now card deck by Gabrielle Bernstein. Let's go ahead and choose a card, a positive thought to think about. This one is sticking out. It must be the one we need. Ooh, this is good. I am ready to receive love. I am ready to receive love. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and you know, this seems to be pretty self-evident. I am ready to receive love. But sometimes I realize that I've been going through life and just kind of going through the motions and getting my to-do list done and I've closed myself down a little bit to opening my heart to love. And that isn't just love from other people, that is love from everything around us. That is seeing a flower and really just letting it touch your heart. That's seeing some cute little kids and hearing them laugh and kind of remembering when your kids were young. That's just opening yourself up to the love that is all around us. So friends, just for today, let's open our hearts and be ready to receive love because when we do that, we can truly have a wonderful second half. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.